Oh, East Chicago basketball, there's nothing like it. I mean, it's really something that East Chicago, with, you know, right next to Gary, it's something that the entire city gravitated towards. Uh, there are legends that have come up through East Chicago basketball. Uh, everywhere you go, and it really didn't matter where you went, uh, the cage uh, over behind 151st Center uh, in the projects, I mean, everywhere you went, you could find, uh, you know, 20, 30 people, you know, just playing basketball. And I'm talking about all day, you know, from sun up to sundown. Basketball is at the heart of this Steel City. East Chicago Roosevelt and East Chicago Washington. Two rich basketball legacies, a rivalry like no other. A tradition continued through East Chicago Central. I can remember times where we would play them and the entire city shut down. Um, and be, if you're not there by halftime with JV, you're not getting a seat. I mean, we come up 5,000, 6,000 strong plus standing room. It was incredible. Uh, how that rivalry uh, existed. Because we actually always looked up to the legend of those guys. You know, when you, you talk about guys like Junior Bridgman, you know, you talk about guys like Jim Bradley, Pistol Pete Turkovich, you know, Drake Morris. You know, you hear these names, Highway Jefferson, and you hear the stories behind, oh, this guy was this good. You know, he was Magic Johnson before Magic Johnson. You're thinking like, what, for me, Chicago? It is the exact same thing like football, high school football in Texas, uh, SEC football in Florida and in the South. That's what it means to East Chicago and to have so much talent come out of Northwest Indiana and East Chicago and have not just good games, not just great games, but legendary games. Uh, Bishop Noe was one of our uh, rivals uh, back when I was playing, uh, and so was Gary Roosevelt. So those games were always uh, jam-packed. You know, people came out to those games and just to play in those games, just the energy was, was just amazing, you know, it was. And it is a March afternoon or a March evening at the Johnny Brado Center and there's six or 7,000 people and both sides and both teams, uh, fan sections are going back and forth and the players take the floor for warm-ups, you get goosebumps. And you don't get many goosebumps like that in sports today and that's one of them for me. I think that East Chicago basketball is something that everyone in this city, at some point in their life, they want to be a part of it. And that's why it's taken so serious. You know, that's how people come together, you know, in the city of East Chicago when we're talking about high school basketball. That's, that's the tradition that we had. I mean, everybody marked off when East Chicago played. Uh, and. Everybody wanted to see it. Legendary coaches, players, and teams. The history and triumph, a celebration of East Chicago basketball. We're all one. We're all East Chicago. That's what we are.